gon' give it to ya Fuck way for you to get it on your own X gon' deliver to ya What's up nerds, welcome back to Tea Time with your favorite software engineer. Today we're going to be going over an easy problem on LeetCode, PathSum. So this is a pretty popular question. But first I wanted to mention my LeetCode competition that I'm hosting. Um, so there's several of us competing. This is for the month of November, so we're in the middle of it. Um, but if you guys join, if five people join, the cash prize is going to be up to $20 instead of 10 So it's not too late to compete. This actually gets a lot more people going. Um, lots of good people in it too. And you can learn a lot. Um, it pushes you to do more problems. So make sure you guys join the invite link to this uh, Slack channel. It's in the description below. And lastly, subscribe if you guys haven't already. Uh, I'm trying to get to 10 subscribers a day. Um, so anyways, let's jump to the problem. So this is a quick one. Given a binary tree and a sum, determine if the tree has a root to leave path that's such that adding up all the values along the path equals the given sum. So if they give us a sum of 22, we're just going to check to see, I believe, 5, 4, 11, 2 adds up to 22. Um, so I have this on the whiteboard. Um, let's think about how we would do this. If we have, if we know the sum, if the sum is 22, then the basic, our, our logic right away should jump to the fact that we can take uh, 22 minus 5 equals 17 so we can just keep track as we traverse down the tree and then we take 17 minus 4 gives us 13 uh, 13 minus 11 gives us 2 2 minus 7 equals negative 5 and 2 minus 2 equals 0 so I'm not going to go through all of them but you can see that that's how we can uh, solve this problem and then we want to think of how we want to do this. Do we want to do it recursively, iteratively? So uh, tree problems are pretty popular for doing it recursively. You have uh, DFS, so we could do it pre-order where we go down the left side of the tree first, or we could do it post-order where we go down the right side of the tree first. Um, it doesn't matter, we can solve it either way for this one. I'm just going to do it pre-order. So I'm going to whiteboard the code out. Uh, we have our main function. Uh, so we have has passed sum. And we have root and sum. And then so if uh, if the root is null, we always want to check if the usually want to check if the root's null. I don't want to say always. There might be a case where we don't have to. But if the root is null, and we that means at the beginning of this function, we don't check the sum just yet. So if the root is null, then we're just going to return false. So can kick out of the recursive stack and try the other possible paths so return false and then we want to uh, sum we want to take away the root.val so we just want to update sum basically and if um, if so if we it's only possible we have, it has to be at a leaf, so we want to check if this is a leaf first. So how do we check if it's a leaf? If we do if root.left equals null, uh, and my terrible and symbols ampersands, and root.right equals null, um, then we just want to see if uh, our sum so far is zero. So we're just going to return sum equals equals zero. So that's either going to return true or false based on if sum equals zero. And then this is the part where we want to do the recursion. So uh, we didn't create a helper function. So we all we have to do is call the original function. So has path sum. And we just want to pass in. So if we're going to do pre order, let's pass in the left first and then sum. Oops. Or, and I actually forgot to add, we want to do a return because we want it to return true or false um, because we're doing it in the function. Or has passed some root.write sum. And I ran out of space and you can't see it in the video, but uh, you'll see it in the code. So let's code this out. So if root equals null, and then I'll, I'll go through the recursive stack with you guys. Return false because it's we haven't reached the sum. We need to kick out of the recursive stack. 
sum minus equals root dot val. So this is where we're taking, subtracting the value from the sum so far. And then we want to check if we're at a leaf, if root dot left equals null and root dot right equals null. Then we just want to return um, if sum equals zero. So this is saying return true if it's sum does equal zero, in which case um, that's what we're returning, a Boolean and false if not, where it'll kick back out of the recursive attack and try any other possible pass that we haven't tried. So, and then we just have to call the function. So uh, root dot left and sum or, and I did it again, I didn't add the return. I'm usually used to using helper functions. Oh. And return. And so let's run this. Oh, I opened Slack. Come on, run. Okay, so this works, let's submit it. And it's fast. Um, don't look at the memory. I think my catch is like full or something. It's always like that. So, and then I just wanted to show you guys that if you wanted to do post order, you just swap them. It doesn't change the uh, solution at all. Um, it just changes how we traverse the tree. So basically if we're doing right, it's gonna go root dot right, root dot right, root dot right. And it's gonna see that, um, uh, and then it's going to do root dot right again, and we're going to, it's going to pop off and then it's going to pop off and then it's going to try root dot left over here. Um, it's going to see it doesn't work, pop off, and then it's going to go root dot left, root dot, uh, root dot, well, it's going to try root dot right, root dot left, root dot right. And, and that's where it will return true. Um, so you guys just need to be able to picture the, how this, the repurs recursive path or recursive stack. Um, it gets easier as you do the problems. So this is O of N runtime, just because we're gonna have to go through possibly every node, worst case scenario. And then space complexity is O of H because it's the height of the stack. And that's as big as it can get is the height. You can't store more than four in the recursive stack. And that's all I got for you guys. So hopefully you guys learned something with this video. And if you did, smash that like button. And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.